Question 1. What is Web Services? Answer. Web Services is a functionality or code which helps to us to do integration. Question 2. How many types of APIs available in Salesforce? Answer. SOAP API, REST API, Bulk API and Streaming API. Question 3. What is call-in and call-out? Answer. Call-in is used to exposing our web services to another user's call-out is used to invoking or consuming our web services to others. Question 4. How SOAP can be accessed? Answer. SOAP can be communicate through WSDL file. Without WSDL file we can't do integration. Message format in SOAP is XML. Question 5. How to do callout integration? Answer. Generate WSDL code from class path. Set up develop Apex class. Question 6. How to read root element in XML DOM? Answer. Get root element. Question 7. How to read all child elements in XML DOM? Answer. Get child elements. Question 8. How to read text between tags? Answer. Get text command is used. Question 9. How SOAP and REST will communicate? Answer. SOAP will communicate through WSDL file. REST will communicate through HTTP file. Question 10. What are methods in REST? Answer. HTTP GET, HTTP PUT, HTTP POST and HTTP DELETE. Question 11. How REST can be accessed or which message format REST supports? Answer. REST supports both XML and JSON. Question 12. What is an external id in Salesforce? Which all field data types can be used as external IDs? Answer. An external ID is a custom field which can be used as a unique identifier in a record. External IDs are mainly used while importing records, data. When importing records, one among the many fields in those records needs to be marked as an external ID, unique identifier. An important point to note is that only custom fields can be used as external IDs. The field Fields that can be marked as external IDs are text, number, email and auto number. Question 13. What is integration? Answer. Integration is a process of connecting two applications. Question 14. How many callouts to external service can be made in a single Apex transaction? Answer. Governor limits will restrict a single Apex transaction to make a maximum of 100 callouts to an HTTP request or an API call. Question 15. What is SOQL? Answer. A query language that allows you to construct simple but powerful query strings and to specify the criteria that should be used to select the data from the platform database. SOQL stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. Question 16. What are the types of SOQL statements in Salesforce? Answer. Salesforce Object Query Language is used to query that records from the database.com based on the requirement. There are two types of SOQL statements, static SOQL, dynamic SOQL. Question 17. What is WSDL? Answer. WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language. It contains types, messages, port types, and binding. Question 18. What is the Apex trigger in Salesforce? Answer. Trigger is an Apex code that executes before or after. The following types of DML operation. Insert, update, delete, merge, upset, undelete. Question 19. Limitations of WSDL file? Answer. File must be in WSDL extension. Multiple port types and binding will not be allowed. Import and inheritance operations are not supported. Question 20. What is SOAP? Answer. A protocol that defines a uniform way of passing XML encoded data. SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol.